monk who became very discouraged in his practice of meditation. <sighs> the news of this was spread among the monks of the Jitavana Monastery in Safati. One evening, a few monks were discussing the impatient monk in the preaching hall when the Buddha entered. What were you talking about before I came in? Oh, monks, not only today, but even in the past, by not persevering and cultivating proper behavior, such a monk became bound to be angry from birth to birth. The Buddha then told a story about the monk's past. Once upon a time, in a place called Sieri, there were two salesmen of pots and pans and handmade trinkets. One was good and the other greedy. They agreed to divide the town between them. They also said that after one had gone through his area, it was all right for the other to try and sell where the first had already been. One day, the greedy salesman was coming down the street where a poor little girl and her mother lived. The girl saw him and asked her mother to buy her a bracelet. Mother, may I buy a bracelet? How can we buy bracelets? We are so poor. Can we use our black sooty old play to trade for it? Having given some thoughts and wanting the daughter to be happy, the mother agreed to give it a try. We have this old plane, and we don't know how much it's worth, but would you be so kind to train your bracelet for it? The man took it, and while examining it, he scratched the bottom of it, and to his surprise, he saw that underneath the snow was pure gold. The greedy merchant decided to scam these poor people so he could get the plate for next to nothing. Why should I buy this filthy old plate? There is no value in this. You are out of your insane minds. The greedy merchant left, thinking he would come back later when they would accept even less for the plate. While the greedy merchant was away, the good merchant was heading down the street towards the house. Can we please get a bracelet? The mother handed the plate to the salesman to examine. Yo, it is a golden plate. All of my goods and money together are not worth as much as this rich golden plate. The mother was shocked at this discovery, but now she knew that he was indeed a good and honest fellow. So she said she would be glad to accept whatever he could trade for it. Okay, my good man, we are glad to accept whatever you could trade for it. Yay! I'll give you all my pots and pans and trinkets, plus all my money. If you will let me just keep eight coins on my balancing scale, with its cover to put the golden plate in. After they made the trade, the good merchant went to the river and paid the eight coins to the ferryman to take him across. The greedy salesman had returned, already adding up huge imaginary profits in his head. He was hurrying back to the house to make a deal with the mother. Why, my ladies, I have changed my mind and I want to help you with a very sweet deal. I will give you a few cents for this useless black sooty old plate. That's how good I am. Sir, you lied to us. You greedy man. We already sold that plate to the other merchant. Greedy merchant wasn't ashamed of his lies. He was so angry that he didn't get the golden plate. No way! Which way did he go? He robbed me! He robbed me! He won't make a fool out of me! The greedy merchant ran to the river and saw the good merchant crossing the river. Ah! You get back here this instant! This, the plate is mine! Get back here! It's supposed to be mine! It's supposed to be mine! Ah! Seeing that he couldn't do anything, the greedy merchant exploded with rage. He beat his chest and had a heart attack. He was so mad he started coughing up blood and died on the spot. The Buddha then concluded the Shaka story by identifying the births. The foolish greedy salesman was Devadatta. The wise and good salesman whom I have become today became the Buddha. In previous lives, Devadatta performed bad deeds was carried on with him. Therefore, he became hateful, petty, and ignorant. He suffered the consequences of his previous actions. The moral is, honesty is the best policy. And also remember to cultivate good behavior, speech, and thought. Your kind actions will always come back to you.